2000 was a strong year for hip hop with a couple of mega selling mainstream classics like Eminem and Outkast and lots of solid underground releases. Welcome to Major Key Unlimited. I'm Dollar Black. You know why I'm here. Let's get into it. <laughs> what hip hop in 2000 looked like? Today, we're looking at hip hop in the first year of the new millennium. What was it like? Make sure you watch till the end to find out. Float is Aesop Rock's second long play album and his first significant release. Aesop Rock's hip hop style will be too challenging to digest for those who can only digest lyrics about money, guns, weed, and bitches. The pattern of underground hip hop with its experimental beats and Aesop's razor sharp, intricate rhymes, float may be difficult for the mainstream listener. Still, it's absolutely a gem. For hip hop heads with a more refined taste, Float is a great album and the beginning of even greater Aesop Rock's material to come. Scarface is one of the best in the game, if not the best, and most essential rappers to ever come from the South. His skill to transfer his feelings and emotions within his music is second to none. This album usually has opinions divided. Sure, it may not be one of Scarface's very best albums, but it is not as bad as some critics said. It sure is better than his ancestor, my homies, shorter, tighter, <laughs> and with fewer guest spots. It debuted at number seven on the Billboard 200 charts, selling 133,972 copies in its first week, being certified gold by the RIAA. Another M.O.P. banger, their fourth and probably best album. As always, their raw power and energy on the mic are crazy as ever, and the production by DJ Premier and others is progressively strong. Their in-your-face style of rapping is not for everybody, but this is a pure classic for ears that are into that grimy NYC street sign. It debuted 65 places higher on the Billboard 200 charts than its previously highest selling album. Outkast's fourth album is the following excellent effort from the Southern Giants. Stankonia is a musical gem, as was Aquimini, AT Aliens, and their debut Southern playlist of Cadillac Music. And it cemented Outkast's status as one of hip hop's biggest and best selling acts ever. Stankonia received universal acclaim from music critics after its release and has since been regarded by many as one of the greatest hip hop albums of all time. The album debuted at number two on the Billboard 200 charts, selling over 530,000 copies the first week. At the 2001 Grammy Awards, Outkast earned Best Rap Album for Stankonia and Best Rap Performance by a duo or group for Miss Jackson. In 2020, the album was ranked number 64 on Rolling Stone's list of the 500 greatest albums, period. But as always, what do you think? Was this year a solid hip hop piece of history? Or only a few names made it good this year? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way. Dollar Black signing out. Be well.